going to be in my repertoire. Like I might be like Candy. Candy with that same blush color every episode. <laughs> I might be like Candy coming up now, girl. Because if you don't have star quality. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne and today's video is special girl because we are trying out the blush that Candy Muse has been wearing all season of All Stars 8. And if you know, you know that it's a good blush. It looks good on all the girls that were in this season. So I decided to get my hands on it. This is the blush right here. It was only about $7.40 on Amazon. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, you already see it, baby. Look at the material. It's gorgeous. But if you're interested in seeing how it applies and getting a little bit more tea, getting into, you know, All Stars 8 and a little drag race stuff, let's continue watching. All right, y'all. So let's jump right into it. I'm really excited because this blush looks so good on Candy and it looks so good on the whole cast of All Stars this season because the episode where they all use Candy's blush, I was like, wait a minute. That's what made me decide that I need this blush. So I've already done my brows and I put my foundation on because, you know, we're not going to do our whole makeup, but we're going to do a little bit of it. So now we're going to move on to our concealer. So if you're watching this video, I feel like it's either because you want to see me do my makeup or it's because you watch Drag Race. And I want to know how y'all feel about this season of All Stars. Now, I love Drag Race down. I've literally watched every season or every episode of every season of every U.S. franchise, Canada, U.K. Um, I watched Thailand. There's a couple franchises I haven't watched. Okay, I haven't got around to it. But, like, I watch Drag Race, okay? And, you know, I typically like the All-Star seasons. I feel like I've liked like later all-star seasons more than I liked like earlier seasons because I really didn't like when they had the girls like teaming up and you know they had to depend on somebody else for they win. I didn't really like that. But I mean I understand like all-stars is supposed to give us a different feel than the regular season but this season has honestly been all over the place like seriously like let, let let's talk about some things one alexis michelle honey 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 honey, honey. now th this is a reality show i understand that i realize that i'm sure with that that means you want to get your camera time of course but that does not mean that you need to be crying Every time you're on the screen, more than 30 seconds. Like, I am tired of the waterworks. And like Rue said, when she had to come out there and check the girls because Kahana was about to go home. And we already didn't have one girl go home, but we're going to get to that too. It's just like, why do RuPaul, like, um, I think Bianca said on Pit Stop. RuPaul had to come from off his break to come talk to y'all. I would've cussed y'all out if y'all had me come from off my break to come talk to y'all. I There's never been a season, at least correct me if I'm wrong, of Drag Race, All Stars, our regular season, where Ru has had to come and give a pep talk to the girls. Th that doesn't happen. Like, it doesn't happen, girl. So for that to happen, I was like, oh, hell no. And I feel like they did that because obviously Heidi has already went home. And I don't feel like they could afford for another girl to go home. And, you know, they just needed Kahana to stay to judging. Because I already knew Kahana was going home that episode. Before she even did that tweet and delete on Twitter. I don't know if y'all caught that. But she did a tweet and delete where she was like, y'all finally got what y'all want. 
baby, did you get what you wanted? Like, you agreed to come on the show, right? Like, these girls be acting like they just somehow appeared on the show. Like, they don't know how they got there. They don't know what the hell going on. But, girl, you know what's going on. And, honestly, it's not your first time here. So, like, you really should not be that surprised with whatever be going on behind the scenes. Because I'm not sitting here trying to say it's not hard. Or the girls don't be growing the stream going through things i'm not saying that but what i am saying is baby you signed up for this okay and also it's not your first time here like a lot of people i was very excited to see heidi back like y'all my mirror is down here so unfortunately i'm gonna be doing a lot of looking down girl unless i do this but well I guess I could do both but yeah I was very excited to see Heidi come back this season and I feel like she was killing it like the look she was giving were amazing like they were definitely much better than you know what she showcased on her first season which obviously I feel like is the point of all stars like if you're gonna come back to all stars like girl you better be showing us something different like it better not be you know the same thing or whatever so I think she was really really doing a good job so I don't know if maybe she got like discouraged by you know not winning um, are not getting like the recognition maybe that she thought she deserved or she expected because to be quite honest girl if i was Heidi and i had like improved like that and i felt like it wasn't being recognized i guess i would feel some type of way i would feel some type of way and then especially because not only have you like improved because heidi was always funny like you know you can't take that away from heidi But the girls be spending a lot of money on them outfits. So it's just like, I don't know, I could see being upset. But when Heidi, girl, we had this open my eye. When Heidi went home, <laughs> I was just like, what? Like, I was disappointed because obviously I like Heidi and you know I wanted to see like more of her but like also I do believe like girl you gotta do what's good for you so like if she felt like she was in a space where she just couldn't take it anymore whatever that it was <laughs> and she had to get up and go like you know I feel like she should have did that like good for you it was just upsetting to see like i feel like the way it happened because alexis michelle was a part of that and uh y'all if y'all don't watch drag race you're probably like what is she talking about but honestly like why don't you watch drag race like girl do you think alexis alexis michelle was lying i do because at first she agreed with heidi and then when heidi And then when Heidi raised her voice a little bit, Alexis wanted to back down. And it was like, wait a minute. You just said, yeah. Would also be annoying me because Alexis gets on my nerves every episode. But <laughs> I can't sit here and lie and act like Alexis don't be having some good looks. Like, I can't lie about that. She be having, she be having some looks. Like, they may not be the best, but like the quality of the look, like, is there. And sometimes they be good. This past episode where it was, um, what was they doing? Um, queen of, it was like some like pageant type look. Um, I didn't necessarily like it. I feel like it was a lot going on, but I feel like you could tell it was like elevated. Do you know what I mean? Like, and she spilled, the, she spent the coin. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people are saying like the obvious winner of this season is uh, Jimbo, which 
I can see that. I enjoy Jimbo. <laughs> I really do. Um, I think she's really funny. And she be having some cool looks. The titties, they get a little tired. They do. Which I appreciate. She actually, in her Grace Jones look, I was so, like, happy that she did not wear titties. Like, I was so impressed. Um... Cause you know, it's like them titties is really attached to Jimbo because she wears them literally. It's like her thing. Um, she wears it every time. Well, not every time, but almost. But I really do, um, I really enjoy Candy. Like, I mean, how could you not enjoy Candy? She says exactly what the hell she wants to. <laughs> she do not care. Well, I don't know because I don't know. I feel like she was low-key lying about that Jimbo stuff. Like, I do not think Heidi just pulled that out her ass. Like, unless Alexis was lying. Somebody was lying. But I don't think it was Heidi. Like, I feel like, you know, Candy was a little bit intimidated by Jimbo, which, you know, that's understandable. Jimbo is a front runner. Jimbo is a very strong competitor. But you didn't have to lie. Like, if I would have said that and somebody would have outed me, I would have stood on it. Girl, stand 10 toes down. So I wouldn't um, be surprised if Candy actually said that. I was a little surprised that Candy lied about it because honestly, I thought she was a real bitch than that. But I mean, she also is trying to survive the competition. So it is what it is. Next is the blush the reason we are all here so first wait is it blush let me make sure y'all oh no 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 no. okay let me bake first y'all so this time i'm going in usually i do a lighter powder than this but it's been a lot of flashback and i really don't i don't enjoy it um so we're gonna use this one so this is the translucent medium deep by laura miss laura mercier now what we are here for blush but first we're gonna go in with the rare sugar yes first we're gonna go in with the rare beauty and i gotta stop doing that first we're gonna go in with the rare beauty blush and believe and i'm gonna do this because this is very like muted on my skin of course it's build above but if i just put like a little bit <laughs> it doesn't do much so that's what we're gonna do i do not be putting a lot of this on at all so that's the blush with just the believe see it's not too much not too much but this bad boy right here <laughs> this is the cover girl true blend, true blend so flushed in the color hot frenzy but from now on out we're gonna call it the candy news breath from that one out, we're gonna call it the Candy Muse Blush. And I feel like Cover Girl need to go ahead and give Candy a little collab or something because I know she had a lot of people running to get this to try it out. I know she did, I know she did. So they need to go ahead and do a collab. So I'm gonna go in with this angled brush right here. I'm gonna dab her. Ooh, yeah. This says it's high pigment, but I don't know if I'm ready. So, let me see, girl. That's with like two layers on. I, I definitely see it. <laughs> I definitely see it. But if you watch Drag Race, um, if, you've, if you're watching the recent season of All Stars, you know Candy packing it on. 
and all the other girls packed it on too. So let's put a little more on. What y'all think? I think it's really pretty. I was honestly scared to try this, but it looked good on all their skin tones. So I feel like, you know, I had a good chance. So let's do the other side now, be back. No, y'all, this is gorgeous. Like, I, I'm i obsessed, y'all. I'm gonna put on a lash, and then we're gonna come back with the finished look, y'all. And this is the finished product. I am obsessed. Like, I feel like blush has recently became very popular. Like, you know, I'm kind of new to makeup game. I won't lie. So I don't know if like blush was popular and I'm speaking mainly for like the dark skinned girls, um, you know, girls that look like me. We weren't really worried or tripping about blush. Now everybody's wearing blush, rare beauty blush has been very popular. And I've also been enjoying some Patrick Ta blush. But when I saw Candy and all the other girls, really the other girls sold me. And when I saw that Heidi, because she's the most similar to my um, her and Lala, when I saw that they look good in the, the blush, I said, oh, I need that. I need that. And Candy actually tweeted, I feel like, a week after that episode aired and she dropped the link for this uh, blush and I thought it was going to be sold out and it wasn't so I definitely went and grabbed it. I recommend you go and grab it. Like just look at the material. It's gorgeous. Like it's so beautiful. It's really high pig highly pigmented so I think this is about like four layers. It's not much but it's so beautiful like it looks so good and i feel like it looks so good with this hair color so if you have a similar hair color girl run don't walk run don't walk i'm truly obsessed with this and i feel like this is definitely going to be in my repertoire like i might be like candy candy with that same blush color every episode <laughs> i might be like candy coming up now girl because if you don't have star quality But anyways, y'all, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for rocking with me. If you're new here, please think about subscribing, girl. We be doing all types of stuff over here, but we keep it fun and light. All right. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.